Alright, so in this video uh, we're going to go into some more advanced topics on your weight loss graph. And uh, first thing I want to do is I just want to show you how to add more data to this table. So um, before we do that, what you're going to notice after a while is you're going to notice that as you scroll down, you're going to lose these headers up here, right? So what we want to do is we want to um, we want to go up here and click on this box right underneath the header like this, okay? And um, by doing that, what I want to do is I want to freeze these panes on the top, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to where it says view up here. Do you see this tab up here, view? And you're going to click, you're going to click that tab up there. And then you're going to go back over to A2 right here, the cell. And you're going to go up to here where it says freeze panes. You see that right there? And I want you to click that. And what that, that's going to do is when you freeze it, I'm just going to freeze the panes here. Everything that was above that is going to be frozen. So now when I scroll down, the date and the, the day and the data are going to stay there. You see that? So that doesn't change. So my weight graph, you might want to keep dragging it down as you add more weight. So the first the thing I want to show you how to do is I basically uh, would like to uh, just add some more days here. So I'm just going to keep adding down. I'm just filling down here. <coughs> so let's just say that um, I wanted to add some more. So I wanted to keep losing weight here. So I was at 204, 204.5, let's just say 203.5, 204, <coughs> 203, etc. And let's say that I added these extra days on here, 202.5. Okay, I added these extra days on here. And uh, I want to add them to the graph. So uh, this is important because as you add your weight, you want to add it to the graph. So here's how you do that. You go ahead and click the graph here like this left click and now you see how these two boxes are highlighted there's a purple one and there's a blue one the purple one's the date and the blue one is the data okay in other words your weight loss data and the, your weight data so what you want to do is you want to drag this down to the most current date down here and you want to drag your weight down to the most current weight and you notice how it just added it to the graph there you see that right there so you can see very clearly that you have a weight loss graph going on here um, that's looking pretty good. You're you're at a good pace here, but the problem is that sometimes these graphs get a little wavy in here. Uh, so what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to add something called a moving average, and um, I'm going to put a seven moving average on this, a seven day moving average. I'm going to show you something that's really cool, uh, and I'm going to. This is a way that we smooth data. So I want you to type up here seven moving average, okay? And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to here to Saturday. And I'm going to type it this in the cell. I'm going to type in equals average. Okay. And then I'm going to highlight from Saturday up to Sunday. And what it does is it's taking an average from uh, this Saturday, from the last seven days, it's taking an average. So why would I want to do that? Well, the, the reason you would want to do that, I'm just taking this decimal down to one, is because I want to get a more a smoother picture of what's going on. I may not want all these wavy lines in here, okay? So I'm going to show you in a minute how this works. So uh, you got that first one in there. You took the average of the last seven days, and I want you to fill that down all the way down. I'm going to fill it all the way down here. So notice you've got a whole new line of data here um, that goes along with your graph, but it's a, it's a moving average. So let's see how that looks on the graph, and the, and hopefully that if we did this right, it should look a lot more smooth. You shouldn't see as much wavy action in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the data, le uh, left click on the data, and then right click where it says select data. And I want to add a, uh, I want to add a data series. So I might name this seven day moving average. Okay. And now I have to select my X values. And you can put seven day moving average of weight, let's just say. And then I can select the X values here. So I can come over here and I'm going to select these values here for my X. Okay click that. I'm going to go over here to the Y values and I'm going to select the values for the Y's. So I'm selecting this moving average right here. I'm going to click that and now it appears on the graph. Okay, So this moving average is really important now because on the graph now you can see that there's a smooth line. Okay, It takes out all of these wavy wavy bumps in here. So that's really important, right? Because if you want to see the general trend of what's happening, you don't want to get caught up so much in the waves and the daily movements. You just want to see that you're basically moving to that um, basic level. 
okay so this is what a moving average does and you could do one even for you know a, mo a month you could do one for you know two weeks uh, typically it's a good it's a good indicator to look at because if your seven day moving average is down to a certain weight that you know that the average over the last seven days was at that weight so that's important so what I want to do next is I'm going to show you how to put a target weight loss in there so uh, maybe I want to set a target a first target of 200 pounds right so I'm going to put in here the word target like this and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type in 200 here 200 okay and I'm just going to type 200 200 and I'm going to scroll that all the way down so I just I want my tar my first target to be 200 on the graph and um, so I want to plot that I want to plot that on the graph so I'm going to go up here I'm going to again I'm going to click the data I'm going to right click I'm going to click select data and I'm going to add another data series right so I'm going to click on their target your goal or whatever you want to say your next year to the dates here again here we go the dates and um, why didn't that highlight highlight to the dates there we go and then I want to highlight my target which is 200 so now if I've done that right I should see a little line up here down there you see that little green line isn't that cool there's your target weight so I'm gonna put target weight okay so look at this so now we got a graph and we've got a target weight okay so we've got a moving average we've got a target weight and let's say I want to extend that target weight out maybe I need to maybe that's not long enough maybe uh, I need to extend it out a few more days so what you can do is you can just highlight that data and scroll it down let's just let's scroll it out to let's go out to December okay and I want to take that 200 a little bit further out into 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 December and yeah so I want to add that so what do we do how do we add more data to our graph remember we click the graph and you're gonna see this purple and this blue blue box appear so I'm just gonna highlight that down to um, December 4th so let's highlight that down all right so now my target has extended out isn't that cool so here's your target weight loss uh, out here so now I have my weight loss graph I have my seven day moving average and I have my my body weight now here's something pretty cool I'm gonna show you how to do a trend line and I know this graph is getting kind of fancy here but uh, you know it, it makes it more interesting when you're looking at it and you're learning about Excel at the same time so I'm gonna take my graph here uh, I could take the moving average if I wanted or I could take the actual graph it doesn't matter I'm gonna take the actual graph in this example I'm gonna click it left click and then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click where it says add trend line here okay so I'm gonna make a linear function I'm gonna add a linear trend line there okay and what I'm gonna do is uh, you can click display equation if you want and I'm gonna click um, close and you're gonna see it's gonna make a little line here on the graph right so that's pretty cool right well it's making a line well big deal like why do I care about that because I already have a, a moving average that's showing me something pretty smooth here but here's the cool thing about a, a trend line that you can do uh, go back here to the trend line uh, click it and then right click and, and click uh, format trend line what I want to do now is I, I know I clicked linear but I want to forecast that forward I want to go forward like 50 days let's just say at that same rate so I can forecast this thing out so I click close and now I can see when I'm gonna hit my target weight loss isn't that cool look at that so if I kept on the same weight loss right I would I would basically reach my weight in um, on November 20th I would reach that target weight of 200 that first target right so pretty neat right and then this equation here would actually show you um, this would actually you know be the equation of your you know you could calculate on any given day what your weight will be according to this graph now let's say that as a final thing here I know this is getting a little crazy with this trend lines but let's just say that uh, you you use that trend line maybe you don't want to put it back in the chart maybe you just want to take it out so you might click it and then you know once you click it you might want to hit the delete key on the keyboard right okay so you kind of just use that just to maybe see when it was gonna when you were gonna reach your target right uh, so let's say that on the the 20th I might want to change my target at that date let's say I want to hit 200 on that day and let's say that if I actually hit it on that day I might want to change the target right so let's just say that if it hits it on that day I might change my target down to I don't know let's say 195 so I might change that to 195 from that day forward and I'm gonna just change these dates now notice these are already selected in the graph so when I go back up here look at this 
you see my target weight already dropped down. So you can really adjust your, your, your target levels, what you're going for with your body weight. Isn't that, that's pretty neat, right? Um, let's say that your first target level was, I don't know, up here was on this day was, um, you know, on the 21st of, of October. Let's say that it was uh, two o, you know, 207, let's just say, or something like that. So um, I could have started even with a higher target. I could have started with 207 on that. So let's just say I started with 207, 207, right? And then and let's see when that hits it. When does that move? Well, does it even hit it? Let's let's pick sorry, let's pick 208. 208. And we know that it probably hits it on the right around this date. So you see right here, you might have had your first target right here, and then right around here the moving average hits it, right? You see that red line it hits it, so maybe even around I can keep changing this line a little bit back to 200. So maybe like right there you hit your first target, right, with the moving average, right? And um, I might want to take this graph and, um, you know, I might want to change some things around with it. Maybe I want to change the color of it or make it darker. Or whatever, whatever you want to do with it, it's, it's, you know, you can change change these colors. So if I click Format Data Series, I can go Line Color and, you know, I can I can just do basically do whatever I want with this. I can make the line thicker. I can make it shaded. So if maybe I want to make this like a 3.5 into there or something like that. So anyway, but you can play around the, with the graph here. And so you can clearly see that now I'm, I'm able to set like these target dates. And you might want to just make it so when the moving average hits that target date, that's when you drop your next goal. So if the moving average hits this one right here, let's just say maybe you drop your next goal down to 195. All right, I know that was a lot of information in this last video, but I wanted to show you some advanced techniques that you could do uh, to plot your weight and to achieve your target weight loss goals. Hope you enjoyed this series, and I'm looking to put more series on Excel. Thanks for watching.